Hello. This is my new kitten, Emily. Mm -hmm. She's a Norwegian cross kitty. She's black with some orange markings, orange spots. She's a beautifully natured kitty, aren't you, sweetie? Aren't you? She's very beautiful. She's not very... She's not a good hunter. But anyway, to the purpose of this video. I'm getting a tattoo repaired. I'll show you it. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. This one. I'm getting it done darker. So it's the same contrast as this one. This one's got beautiful dark shading. Lots of contrast, beautiful tone. So I'm getting this one hopefully as dark and as shaded as this one. It's going to cost me $350, but I'll show you as soon as I come back from the shop tomorrow. And we'll see. I'll take you through the process of it healing and you can see exactly what it looks like. But yeah, this is what it looks like to begin with. I'm not sure whether you can see that or not. It's nice, but it could be a lot nicer. So, okay, wish me luck. I'll see you tomorrow. See you on the other side. Hello, Daniel here again. So I've just come back from the tattoo tattoo parlor where I got my tad, my shoulder tattoo redone. I paid him $350. It took about three and a half hours to do. He's quite slow, but he's a great artist. I paid him $350 and I gave him $50 extra as a tip just for being such a legend. So this is what it looks like. It's still wrapped up. As you can see, it's still wrapped up in the cling wrap. I'm not sure if you can really see that or not. It's much darker, much more tone than what I had originally. Oh shit, sorry about that. I'm not sure if you can see that. Instead of having a halo, he put some flames, which are quite quite a good touch, I thought. The eyes are a lot more definition. It took him about three hours to do. He basically redid the lot. It hurt a bit at places. People ask me a lot, like, does it hurt? Does it hurt to get the tattoo done? I've heard a lot of different analogies, but the one I find, personally, it's like somebody pinching you. They can pinch you hard, they can pinch you softly. It depends where you get pinched and how hard you get pinched. So it doesn't really hurt more than a pinch. That's the way I like to look at it. Anyway, this is my tattoo without the plastic. So I bought, I picked up some thing from the chemist. It's called the Panthen Cream. I'm not sure whether they have this all over the world. It's an antibacterial cream for the treatment of nasty rat caps. Cuts, scalds, stings, and sunburns. Also for tattooing. So I'll show you how I apply some of that later on. But right now I'm going to undo this this cling wrap, and we'll see what it looks like. So at the moment it feels like a bit of a sunburn when I touch it. It's a bit sensitive. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'll try to turn the light on. Doesn't really make much difference. So I'll show you as it heals up. Does not look awesome. He re I love the eyes that he did. His name was James, the guy that did this for me. I used to have a halo, but he changed it to smoke. It looks awesome. It doesn't look great. Better than what it used to, anyway. So, I'll show you over the course of the next few weeks how it heals up. So, I'll be applying some bepanthin cream on it for the first time tonight. Hopefully, it'll heal up okay. Alright. Thank you. See you soon. Hi guys, so it's later on in the day. I had my tattoo done earlier on this morning. I'm ready to put some Bepanthem cream on. I'll give you a little look at the tattoo. As you can tell, she's quite attractive, unlike the old one that was there. So it's important to just put a very light coat on. It's antibacterial, as you can, that's how it's spelled there. It's available in Australia, I'm not sure about where else. 
and I got the big pack, the big tube, because I know I'll be using this for quite a while when I get my next tattoos done. Oh. Okay, so just put a tiny bit on my finger. That's about all I'll need. So two pea drops should be enough. Just to stop the bacteria from getting in, I don't want to be sleeping on this tonight with my bacteria ridden pillow and sheets. Not that they're messy, but they're not, but they you gotta put a, a coat of this stuff on to stop the bacteria from potentially infecting or affecting the healing. As you can see there used to be a halo. But he turned, put smoky flames there instead. It turned out really good. I'm really happy with it. It took about three hours to do. Oh dear. So I'm happy with it. I'll put them on tomorrow. I'll let you see how it looks like tomorrow. As you can see, it looks a bit shinier. Hi again guys, so this is day two of my tattoo, I'm going to put a bit more of this Bepanthem on. Let's put a bit on. So last night it felt a bit like I had sunburn rolling over in, in bed. It really did feel like I had some sunburn. I'll just put a bit more on. I'm happy with the way it looks, eh? it's nice and dark. I don't like the shading here though, it's a bit too much I think. I hope it turns out better. Just, yeah. Hi guys, so this is day three of my tattoo care. And here you can see in our video right here that it says crut underneath the email form. So I think I'll have to get him to touch it up a little bit. The hand needs more work. I need more shade here. He left it just. I think it would look nicer if it's nice and darker there as well, a bit more tone. But I've got my pantom as always. Hey Emily. So I'll put up a post, I'll put up a picture of what it looked like before and afterwards, after the tattoo job. This is Matt Ganey, a purple So it's going to be just... So this, like I said, this is day three. It hasn't started peeling at all yet. But I'll keep you posted on it. As soon as it starts peeling, I'll film another video and let you see how it heals. Bye. G'day guys. So my tattoo, this is six days on and it's starting to scab now, as of this morning. I can certainly feel the coarseness. You can't really see any scabs though, any healing but it certainly is I can see it it's all very flaky it's like a la whole layer of skin is coming undone I'm not sure if you can see that up close there you go you can see that can't you I'm surprised it actually showed so well I'm partly outside here but um yeah it's healing well it's healing all right 
Now I'll do another video in about a week's time. See ya. So this is another touch, another touch base for my new tattoo redone. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's peeling a whole, a great deal. These flames are really good. So much better than what it used to be there. All right, so today's Friday, so it's been a week since I had it done. Most of the scanning has already taken place, I believe. But um, yeah, I'll give you another touch base in a week's time and we'll post the video. And that'll be it. I hope you've enjoyed these series. Bye. Hello guys. So it's been just over two weeks since I had my new tattoo retouched up. It's all healed now. And hopefully we can show you before and after. Alright.